I am just this is going to be a surprise because I wasn't paying attention and I found a game. Oh, what is it? Slayer. Definitely Slayer. Some sort of slaying game type where you kill the other team for points. Up to 50. Maybe BRs. Maybe Deluxe. Okay, it's BRs and it's Simplex. Uh, I hope no one quits. If we're winning and someone quits, I'm just going to end it right there because this is literally like my 15th game in a row. And if someone has literally quit out of every single one. Get the overshield! Yes! That was my goal right there. Um. Oh, pretty bad. Cool! I did not know that would save me from- my overshield would save me from dying there. At least I managed to get a kill. So basically, ideally in Slayer, what's gonna happen is... If, if the teams are completely matched, they're gonna keep trading kills and the only way- real way to win... Like, I guess the team that got the first kill is probably win in that scenario, but that never happens. Uh, you either get double kills or you get sprees. You get more than one kill for your life. And that's how leads are made. So your goal is that every time you get a kill, you if you're able to get a double kill, that's great. But um, if you get a single kill, your goal is not to get cleaned up. Because obviously in a normal fight, you're going to be weak afterwards. So your goal is just to run away, get your shields back, and then get back into the fight without dying again and get another kill. That way that life was worth more than your previous one. Or not, not your previous one. That life was worth more than what uh, the other team got for it. That means... You got two kills for your one death. That means you got two points and they get one for your life. And that's how you kind of gain a lead. So like, li literally, Slayer is very important. KD is very important. Uh, you can't really do a lot if you go negative. I mean, I guess assist, but I would say kill assist death ratio is very important as well. Probably more, uh, more representative of how well you did. But it is important because that's how the points are based on. You don't get points for assists. That, but that's how you get kills easier, so that's why I say assists are important. I'm being really aggressive right now, I'm just kind of running at the other team. This is a clearly a fast paced game, I hope no one quits in the middle, we'll find out. Uh, all four players are still here. Alright. Alright, right as I say that one of us quits for some odd reason, even though we were winning, that's kind of a weird thing to do. But, see if we can win. Hopefully, please. <laughs> um, yeah, this, I've been playing for a while now. And every Warden single game, friend. someone has quit. And I hope this one's an exception. I'm really banking on it. Wow, let's just play this. Now that there's less of us, uh, Slayer is not as bad as an objective. If this was an objective, I would have just quit. In a Slayer, it's possible. We could win this. We just have to go, we have to do well slaying wise. Obviously, but even better than, we have to, we have to be outnumbered and that's a big problem. I, did I pick it up? Yeah, I did. And my goal there is not to take any shots. Unfortunately, I take a little damage there, but nothing too bad. My goal is just to stay alive and hopefully my teammates will clean them up. Unfortunately, I didn't expect to get flanked here. I really hope my teammates manage to win this fight. Uh, that guy has overshield. I hope this guy lives until I get there. He manages to get a kill though, so that's not so bad. And I managed to clean him up, which is great. Can't really say lucky spawn on that one, because there is five seconds to respawn. So it is a fair that I managed to clean him up. But somehow I get a kill. I'm assuming he jumped off the map. Good play by him, not really. Not at all. Uh let's see. I managed to get a double kill. This is how we're gonna win this is by getting clutch double kills, going on sprees and whatnot. I'm just gonna run. Uh oh. So my teammates are doing a good job. You can tell I'm playing kind of really aggressive right now. Just kind of rushing into them because they're not expecting it at all. They seem to be very passive. If I run towards them, they're not gonna. They're gonna. I'm gonna get two free shots on them because they're not expecting it at all. Um, I feel like being aggressive is more fun and more exciting to watch and you do better. I put two A's in there because I didn't know I was going to have a third thing to say. So the railgun just spawned. The railgun spawns around every like minute, 45, 2 minutes. I'm not too sure on the spawn timer. Right? I think I should probably learn those. I've played this playlist a lot lately. Uh, I think it's my third most played playlist second. I don't know, I love this playlist, that's fantastic. The uh, loss is kind of weird. There's a war, I guess, on MLG forums. I don't know if it's existing anymore because it's not on MLG, but 
Um, it's basically BRs or BR and DMR. So that's and I think it's very cool that they put both options. Where obviously no one's saying no BR. Some people are saying no DMR or any other gun. BR either BRs only or it's that every gun. And they added both game types. The Lux would be the both guns one. And then uh, what is it? And then Slayer BR is just the I guess the current MLG setting for these BRs only. Okay, the over shield. I'm to see if I can embarrass him. I did. When you're against an overshield guy, you, it's gonna be almost impossible to outshoot him. He has double the amount of shots you're able to take. Just, I don't see how he, he's gonna lose that fight. Obviously, it's always possible, but they have to miss a lot of shots. And if you're perfect, it's easier, but still, that gives him a huge boost. So generally, you want to go for melees. If you can hit them with a melee and then dodge theirs, because you know they're probably gonna go for a melee there. If not, they'll shoot you, and that only puts you at a slight disadvantage. Uh, if you dodge your melee, then um, you're on even grounds, which is what you want to do. Right there, you miss like three melees or something, so I ended up getting that kill kind of easily. I think we're gonna win this match. Very good. I like winning three v fours, and three v four slayers. I wouldn't quit out. Uh, it's very easy to win. It's not. You don't have an advantage. I know having less people makes it less people for them to kill, but they get have more BRs and teamwork wise. Uh, it's always easier to win with more BRs on everyone. Especially on a map like this, where it's really open, like, it's very easy to do, to, you know, uh, help each other out. So it's not the easiest map to win the 3v4, and looks like we're gonna win though. That guy, you should, when you're hiding, you should be very unpredictable, just kinda ran in a run, random, but good to hide spot. Uh, right there, I expected him to go there, but at the same time, I really didn't think he'd do it. So when I saw him there, it was a very nice surprise. Easy kill. Because when you're one shot, they're probably going to chase you like that. They get the rail gun and the overshield. Overshield and rail gun generally spawn around the same time. That sucks. I'm just going to get rid of that. At least I got rid of his overshield. He's probably going to pick up the rail gun, though. So overall, that, I didn't do a good job there. Let's see if I can fix that. I'm going to pick hard light shield, because if he has the uh, rail gun, I'll be able to... I guess block it or whatever. I heard a guy over here. It's my teammate actually, but I'm gonna run with him because I'm kind of weak right now. I can pick up the sticky debt. See what I can do with that. It's a very easy gun to use. I, I fail with it completely. Uh, I should have melee there, but uh, it didn't. So that was that was a problem there. So we're losing our lead. So we need to be careful. I don't want to lose this game. Very nice thing there. I don't know how I didn't clean him up. Just a bad shot on my part. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh, I need to stop losing my BR fights. That's what's making us lose our lead. And I got a good spawn right here, kind of. If they expected me to spawn here, it'd be suck. But if they knew I was here, it would also suck. So I need to sneak behind them. I don't know how I don't clean up either of them. Luckily, they both went the same exact way, so maybe I'll clean them both up eventually. My goal is just to stay alive here. I did my job. I got two kills. I hear someone. I don't know if it's my teammate or not. It's not. It's unfortunate. I'm hoping my teammates will start winning their VR fights more often. Because things are not going as well as they were. I'm gonna try to help them out, at the very least clean up the kills, because obviously they're not bad enough where they're not gonna land, out any, land any shots. So hopefully, all we have to do is get two kills. It's not that hard, I, we should win this match. Uh, one more kill is basically game. Let's see what we can do here. I got this guy trapped top middle. He has, he's gonna go for overshield, but I got him. Uh, luckily his teammate got the overshield being greedy and I ended up getting the kill. So thanks for watching, please like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed. There's proof it was a 3v4, I got 24 kills, no idea how many deaths I got. So once again, thanks for watching, Bye bye